movie in 2004 set this grape on a downward spiral, making it one of the world's most maligned grape varieties. But I'm going to tell you today why you should be loving this grape, Merlot. I'm Master of Wine, Christine Marsilio, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Merlot. So the first wine I'm going to try is from saint emilion Now it's 90% Merlot with 10% Cabernet Franc, but really we're going to get a great expression of Merlot here. And this is from Bel Air Monange, which is a premier Grand Cru Class A winery in saint emilion So some really fantastic quality wines coming from here. And it's 2011. And we can see that age coming through in the color because there's a bit of a garnet rim. So that's telling us that this wine is a little bit older. I give it a smell. Wow, so really ripe plum, blackberry. We've got a little bit of a floral note, like violet coming through. Some delicate oak spices, like uh, nutmeg and vanilla and smoke. And because this wine is 11 years old, that's right, Merlot can age, we also have this really meaty, savory side too. I'm gonna give it a taste now. Wow, that packs a punch. So Merlot doesn't have as much tannin as like Cabernet Sauvignon or Syrah, but that means that with age, the tannin that we do have here, which is kind of medium, we have lots of kind of smooth, silky tannin coming now with lots of fresh acidity, although again, not as much as you would find with Cabernet Sauvignon, but still, this is a really full-bodied, powerful, really yet elegant style of Merlot coming from Bordeaux. It even has a slightly leafy note, and that flavor is just lasting and lasting. What a classy wine. 11 years old can easily go for another 20 years, I would say, in this case. Now, my next wine is from South Africa in Constantia. And this is a 2016, and you can see it doesn't have as much of that garnet color as we saw with the older wine, because it's only six years old. Wow, again, power and elegance. That is what Merlot can produce. We've got ripe plum again, baked cherry, baked strawberry, so this mixture of red and black fruits. There's a slightly herbaceous note there too, kind of like fresh cut grass. A smokiness, vanilla, again from that oak, really powerful. This one doesn't have that aging character because it's still fairly young. Let's give it a taste. Wow, full body, quite a lot of alcohol there, 14%. It's a little bit warmer here than in Bordeaux, so we have a little bit more of that riper flavor coming through. Really long finish as well. Not as long as the Bordeaux wine, but I'll talk about price in a minute, but this is a really fantastic wine that can also age. I'd give this kind of five to six more years, still tasting amazing. So what should you eat with Merlot? Merlot wines are structured and powerful yet elegant, and they go with a range of dishes because of that. Now, because we have so much flavor here, I would definitely stick with some robust dishes. You could do ratatouille if you wanted, if you're looking for a vegetarian meal, but definitely something like braised lamb or beef short ribs would be fantastic with both of these wines. When it comes to aging Merlot, you really have to look at those higher quality wines, and when you do get those higher quality wines, you will be absolutely surprised at how long they can age. They can go the distance, just like many Cabernet and Syrah wines as well. The key is you just have to find the right ones. So for example, in Bordeaux, definitely some of those wines will be able to age. South Africa, also Tuscany. Now, does that mean you have to spend a fortune on these wines? Well, you can. The Bordeaux wine that I have, the saint emilion that costs around 120 US dollars per bottle. So pretty premium pricing here. To be fair, it is one of the better Merlots in the world that is out there. When it comes to our South African wine, wow, it offers a fantastic bargain of around $25. It's still really an amazing, powerful wine, but you know, less than a quarter of the cost. And South Africa in general can offer some really great value. So hopefully I've changed your mind about Merlot. You're gonna go out and find your next favorite Merlot and prove to everyone else that Merlot is something that you should be drinking because it is a fantastic, kind of misunderstood grape. To learn more about Merlot and other grape varieties and regions, visit winefolly.com and subscribe. Cheers.